city people who are on the grind day in and day out. Be sure to subscribe and share with anyone who is striving and thriving every single day. Also, follow Grit Daily on all socials at Grit Daily so that you can engage with the episode after and get incredible news and insight throughout the day. Hi, everyone. It's that time of the week, time for Monday Motivation. And this week, we're going to dig into something that, well, this one's kind of a big week for me because this marks the 100th article that I have written for Grit Daily. Now, doing anything 100 times, you know, you'd think, well, there's going to be some lessons learned with that. And there certainly have been. When I look back and I think from 100 articles ago earlier in the year, thinking, wow, I don't even know how to use this content management system. And oh my goodness, Oxford comma, associated press style, what's all that stuff? And then of course I had the wonderful, you know, efforts uh, made by Jordan French and some of the other editors and co-founders here who jumped in and said, look, Laurelyn, we're going to work with you. We're going to help you improve your writing. And boy, oh boy, did they ever. So here I am. 100 articles later thinking, well, it's probably timely to have today's Monday motivation column to focus on milestones and why milestones matter. One of my favorite quotes in and around why milestones matter, everybody tries to work at, it's called persistence. And Napoleon Hill, who's the author of one of the best self-help books of all time called Think and Grow Rich, writes that patience Persistence and perspiration make an unbeatable combination for success, indeed. So if we look and go back to my milestone here and think, wow, in 100 articles, what's happened? Well, I've probably written about 125,000 words, which may not seem all that much, but on any given day, you've got to change your voice and style and you've got to adapt to the medium that you're publishing in and you've got to make it so that the content is going to be of interest to the readers and in a style that they're going to want to consume it in. So that takes some learning. You got to do a little bit of back and forth to figure out what the readers like. And and then the biggest thing, though, when it comes to Monday motivation here and talking about milestones is that with each one that you complete, it really is an invitation to just pause and think about, well, what's that experience been? Have I enjoyed it? What have I learned from it? How can I improve upon it? And then give yourself just enough time to reward yourself for achieving the milestone and celebrating it. Then take the lessons that you've learned and apply them to the next thing that you're doing. To that end, I think it's a really valuable thing to use milestones as check-in points. And you can be, you know, as detail-oriented as you like and as granular as you like and have milestones for everything. Or you can be like the majority of folks where I fall into that category where you really only measure the major milestones, the things like birthdays to call upon, you know, what's happened in the last year of your personal life and how you want to change it. Or you look at end of the quarter or end of the calendar year and really try to function on sort of a business calendar where you're looking at more of the professional projects and work and career and where you are. So if we dig into the three tips today, The first one that comes forward and makes a lot of sense to put some thought around is that each of the milestones is just one baby step after another on your life's journey, both from a personal and a professional perspective. Each time that you've completed one of these milestones, just give yourself those few moments for quiet and thoughtful reflection. Was it what you expected it would be? Why or why not? And if not, what are you going to do differently to go forward? Number two, now this ties into one of my favorite pastimes and foods, which is popcorn. And that is, I think that milestones are really like this never ending bag of popcorn, right? If your life is that bag and the popcorn are all of the elements and aspects on a personal and professional level that are in there, each one of them being a milestone. Well, no two of them are exactly alike but they do have some commonality. One, they all speak to your life and the collection thereof, which is in the bag, which is representative of your life and your path and your journey. But it's also where, if you look at it, you created that milestone out of what is essentially a really hard, dried up corn kernel. And with a bit of heat, a bit of conviction, some effort, and then seasoning it with your experience and your personality to spark it, you make something pretty darn tasty out of it. And then you can just keep adding the pile of milestones into your bag of popcorn and you'll see it won't take very long at all before it's quite full and in fact brimming over. 
Tip number three, it is all about celebrating those milestones. Don't gloss over them. Some of them are much harder to attain than others. And every single thing that you do, you've got to give yourself credit and a little pat on the back for achieving it. I mean, life is not a sprint. It is a marathon. It's a whole series of hurdles, defeats, milestones, and victories all along the way. Anytime that you've gone out there and you've done something, you've got to take pride in having achieved it because it may not have been easy. All of these milestones, they signify baby steps. It's one step at a time. Most of them take longer to achieve than you think that they will. And in some of them are even painful. But at the end of the day, you've achieved it and you deserve to take that time out to both think about how you've achieved it and what the experience has been. But it's also really important to celebrate it. So with that, everyone, have an absolutely fabulous week and we'll catch you here again next time.